Hi, for this video what we're going to do is look at inverse functions. Um, two functions are considered to be inverses of each other if f of g of x equals x and g of f of x equals x. Um, this is true if and only if both of them are true. In mathematics, if you see IFF, IFF stands for if and only if. It's the shorthand notation for that. Um, so what you have to do is you have to take your g of x equation and plug it into your f equation. And after you simplify it, if it equals x, then you know that they are inverses of each other. If it does not equal x, then you can stop there because they can't be inverses if both of them are not x. So I have a couple different problems to look at here. The first one is kind of um, difficult, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our f of x equation and we are going to replace into it our g of x equation. So what this is telling me is I'm going to take this g of x equation right here and I'm going to replace x with that value. So everything else in my f equation stays the same. So the two stays the same the plus 2 stays the same, and the minus 1 stays the same. The only thing that changes is x. So x would become 3 over negative x plus 3 plus 1. So I just replaced x with my g of x equation. This gives us a very ugly fraction, and we do have to simplify that. So what we are going to do is I'm going to start by combining like terms in the denominator. So my plus 1 and my plus 2 I can go ahead and combine. So I'm left with 3 over negative x plus 3 plus 3 minus 1. Okay, now what I have to do is I have to get rid of my denominator down here. I can't have a denominator within a denominator. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the top of this fraction by negative x plus 3, and I'm going to multiply the entire denominator by negative x plus 3. By doing this, I'm multiplying by 1, essentially, because if I multiply by 1, it just um, it doesn't change the value. So the top part would become negative 2x plus 6. And the bottom part, this cancels out. So in the first part, I'm just left with 3. But I do have to distribute it into this 3 here. So I would have to take and multiply the 3 in. So I would have 3 minus 3x plus 9. And don't forget that we still have the minus 1 on the outside. Okay, We still have to simplify this. It's still not simplified. So I would have negative 2x plus 6 over negative 3x plus 12, okay, minus 1. Now, in order to add these two together to simplify, to see if this does result in x, what we have to do is get a common denominator. So my common denominator would be negative 3x plus 12. So in order for this one to become 3x, to get the denominator of negative 3x plus 12, what I would have to do is multiply both the top and bottom by negative 3x plus 12 over negative 3x plus 12. Okay, so on this one, I would still have the negative 2x plus 6. And for this one, I would have to distribute the negative 1 in. So I would have a negative times a negative, which would give me positive 3x. A negative times a positive would give me minus 12. And now all I have to do is simplify the top. So if I simplify this, I end up with x minus 6 over negative 3x plus 12. And we can see that there is no way that I can get this to equal x. So since this one does not equal x, these cannot be inverses. So these cannot be inverses. since f of g of x does not equal x. Had I got x here, then I would have had to check it the other way to make sure that g of f of x also equals x. But since the first one does not equal x, we know that they cannot be inverses because they both have to be. So let's look at another problem. This one's not quite as complicated. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is take and find f of g of x. Remember what this means is that into our f equation, 
we are going to replace x with our g of x. So the negative and the cube root functions still have to be there, and the plus 1 still has to be there. So my f equation stays the same. I'm just going to simply take my g of x equation, the negative x minus 1 cubed, and replace it in for x. So now if I go through and simplify this, um, because of the fact that I can take the cube root of a negative, remember a negative times a negative times a negative gives me a negative, so what I really have here is a negative, and then I have another negative because I'm taking the cube root of this. My threes end up canceling each other out, so I would be left with negative, negative, x minus 1. And then on the outside, I still have the plus 1. So don't forget, we still have the plus 1. So if we simplify this part here, my negatives end up canceling me out. Sorry, my negatives end up canceling each other out because a negative times a negative is a positive. So I'm left with x minus 1 plus 1, which equals x. So our first one works, f of g of x equals x. Remember that it has to go both ways. So I now have to take my g equation and replace into it my f of x equation. So my g equation, I'm going to keep everything else the same except for the x, and I'm going to have a negative, and then I'm going to keep the negative 1 and the cubed. Okay, But I'm going to replace the x with the negative cube root of x plus 1. Okay, so I just took this equation right here, and I placed it in for x. Okay, that's where this came from. So now if we simplify this, what happens is the 1 and the negative 1 cancel out. So I really have negative and the negative cube root of x to the third power. So if I take this expression on the inside to the third power, I still have the negative on the outside. I would still have the negative on the inside, but this time my cube roots cancel out, and so I'm left with a negative negative x, which does equal x. Since both of them give me x, we can say that f of x and g of x are inverses. So f of x and g of x are inverse functions. So again, you have to check both of them. Both of them have to give you x. Um, if the first one gives you x, you do have to check the second one. If the first one does not give you x, like this one, then you don't have to check the second one because it's impossible for them to be inverses if one of them does not work. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are other topics that you would like for me to cover, please let me know that as well, too.